Hey guys, uh, this is going to be a review video of one of the products I mentioned in my like Christmas gift haul video. It's the Laura Geller Baked Basics. Um, I don't know if you know a lot about the Laura Geller brand of makeup, but she is also, she's available on, not she, <laughs> you're not going to get her, but you'll get her makeup on uh, Sephora.com or she's on QVC sometimes and therefore also QVC.com. But I got this kit off of Sephora or it was gotten for me by uh, Tyla and um, basically just to describe what these are, it says uh, starting out as swirls of liquid, color corrective pigments, they are then poured into terracotta pans and baked for 24 hours. Um, so if you if you hear the word baked and you're like, what does that mean? Which I was a little bit like unsure about it. I think Physicians Formula, that brand, has some things that are called baked. So <laughs> um, anyway, I was really intrigued by this. I'd heard some other people on YouTube talking about how great the Laura Geller makeup was. And it was very similar to the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish products. So I thought, well, this is probably going to be pretty good quality. So I'm going to go ahead and review those things for you. First, I'll just tell you what came with it. You got um, three different uh, baked powders. The first one is the Balance and Brighten. And so this is... It looks like this, by the way. The packaging's really cute. Although I must say these are a little bit... I get the feeling they're going to last me a long time from what I can tell so far, but they are a little smaller than I thought they would be. But what if... This one's the Balance and Brighten. So I don't know if you can see uh, clearly there, but it is a, like a swirl of different beiges and yellow colors and some tan shades in there too. I think this is like the medium kit for this. So that that's the medium shade. I think you could also get light. But here's what she says about the balance and brightness. It says, my color corrective powder foundation is a blendable swirl of warm, neutral tans and creams which provide buildable coverage, giving a look that's sheer, smooth, and delicate to use. Um, apply with kabuki brush over your primer. So that is the ba balance and brighten. So you could use that like just a powder foundation. The other one is bronze and brighten. And so this one's kind of interesting. This has some more tan shades, some pink shades, some cream tones to it. Um, you always got to hold it just right so the color, the lighting doesn't wash it. I got a light like pointing right at me. So, <laughs> But that's, that's really pretty. I think it's really, I really like that particular product in the set. Um, but she calls it her Desert Island product, totally versatile adapts to whatever you ask it to do, can serve as an eyeliner or eyebrow color or eyeshadow, which I believe that. I've used that actually as a contour on my eye, and that's a really good idea. Um, so that's the second product. And then the third one, probably the prettiest in the packaging, is the Blush and Brighten in Berry. And this color is so pretty. Um, unfortunately, I think it's getting completely washed out, but there you can kind of see it's like got some kind of plummy colors and pinks and golds and it just looks gorgeous there in the packaging and that um, you just uh, what does it say sheer enough to look natural colorful enough to dazzle <laughs> so that this is a really fun group of things because it also comes with this cute little thing it says Laura Geller on it and you open it up and you get a mini kabuki brush from Laura Geller so this is really I can't say I'm a huge fan of this brush because, I mean, while it is very dense and soft, it's kind of like, um, it's like cut real blunt right across the top. I would appreciate it to be a little more tapered. Like, I have a little one, uh, to compare it, I have a little one from Smashbox that is, um, this one's, you know, the Laura Geller one more straight across, and this one's easier to blend with the Smashbox one because it's more tapered like that but either way I tend to like to use bigger brushes anyway for like a bronzer or something like that so I would probably only use that little one if I use it at all I would use it for maybe the blush or maybe around my eyes with the foundation but either way it's cute you cannot debate that that's very cute so <laughs> um, anyway just as far as my opinions on stuff now that I've told you what all it is um, 
the with the balance and brighten the thing you can use as a powder foundation really like this um, it su it works surprisingly well as far as evening out my skin tone when I used it I just put on my um, moisturizer my Smashbox photo finish primer and then I put this on on top of it and I just you know I, I wasn't even too careful about it you know I just put it everywhere and it gave me a nice amount of coverage too so I was really impressed with the uh, balance and brighten I think it's a good concept she's got going of using you know several different shades in there to kind of accommodate everyone's skin tone and there's a nice amount of yellow shade in this and that actually works for a, well for a lot of people it complements a lot of people's skin tone to add a little yellow in there so Balance and Brighten gets high marks from me. I really, really like that. And it looks like it's going to, like I said, even though that's a small amount in there, that's going to last me a while. But, again, I think it's just small because it's part of this special deal, this set. And I can't quite remember how much it cost. I think it was somewhere in the, I don't even know. I'll look it up or something and I'll tell you if I can find it. But I'm sure you could get this in a full size if you liked it well enough there. But the Bronze and Brighten is really cool because it's not super shimmery it's got some shimmer in it but it's not overboard and it's just so many bronzers you get and they're just so dark in the container and you're thinking okay I'm gonna have to be so careful when I apply this the fun thing about these powders is you don't have to be very careful about it you know you can just put it on you're not gonna really screw up with this and look like a crazy freak with super super bronze skin um, it's going to give you a nice amount of glow if you have that medium skin tone kind of like mine medium to light I think this would be fine for you so that is the bronze and brighten and that that is a really good product there now the blush this I would say it looks prettier in the package than it does on your face so, I mean, you can see it's got gorgeous tones in there. And it's not that it doesn't look bad on your face, but what I'm trying to get at here is that um, you put it on and it's got a little, it's got a lot of shimmer to it, but not a ton of color. Um, like, just to show you here, like, I'll put a little bit on. Like, I'm seeing a glow, but I'm not seeing a ton of color. I'm seeing a little color, but not a lot so you know what I mean you look at this and you think wow that's gonna look crazy but it really doesn't show up a whole lot it just gives you a little more shimmer it's more shimmery than the bronzer let's put it that way and so anyway overall I give this little set some really high marks I like the Laura Geller makeup I think it's great quality I was so impressed with how the powder foundation covered uh, even around my eyes I mean it was great uh, so if you are curious like I was and I didn't have any other Laura Geller products except like a free sample of the Spackle Primer which is very good uh, I really like my little free sample of the Spackle um, but if you're curious about it want to try out a few things I would encourage you to check out this set if this set does not remain available for much longer then you know check out one of the individual products um, I really like the bronzer and the balance and brighten a lot so anyway thanks a lot for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned a few things about this and if you have any opinions on the Laura Geller stuff or any other um, Laura Geller products you think I should try out uh, let me know because I think it's a really great brand so have a great day guys